Hey there, welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Please like, share, and subscribe this video. Tonight, tonight's own episode of the Big Holiday Food Fight, hosted by Kim Whitley, season one, episode two. Three new contestants will vie with their uh, holiday recipes to see who's the king or queen of the holiday kitchen. Once again, there are three rounds tonight, including appetizers, two side dishes, and dessert. The judges are James Wright Chanel, Gina Neely, Darnell Super Chat Ferguson, and the grand prize is $5,000. We meet Tahara, a small beauty business owner who loves to travel. She's a wife and mom and she's a mother of three children and she wants to take her family to Paris. Mike, who's a logistics specialist, lives in Cali, was, but was born and raised in St. Louis and is the father of four, wants to take his family back home to St. Louis. Tamika is 41, she's a mom also, and she is legally blind. She's doing this because she wants her daughters to know that you can do anything that you put your mind to do. Appetizers round two, 20 minute timer is set and go. Tahara, uh, Mike is making his family's recipe of honey jalapeno cornbread in a cast iron skillet. Tahara is making her caviar deviled eggs. And Tamika's making the family recipe of bacon spinach dip. T Tahara finishes early, so now she's taunting Mike and Tamika, telling them, You guys aren't finished yet? What? 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 <laughs> Tamika's cheesy bacon spinach dip um, was well received by the judges, with the exception of a suggestion by Gina Neely that maybe to use more colorful chips. And unfortunately, Mike burnt his cornbread. So Tahara, the queen of the onesies, her caviar deviled eggs won round one. Her prize for winning, she gets a one minute head start before the other two contestants for round two. Round two, 45 minutes to make two side dishes and one of them has to contain potatoes. Second choice is the cook's choice. Round two begins. Tahara tries to sabotage the other cooks by taking all the butter out of the pantry. Mike has to sing a Christmas song to Tahara to earn back the butter for his sweet potato home home style fries. He actually ends up sharing his butter with Tamika, who's making a cheese sauce for her mac and cheese dish and her scallop loaded potatoes. Mike's home style potatoes is his also is his dad's recipe. Tahara is making mustard greens, yikes, and Swiss chard, but then she notices that the greens taste very bitter. She tries to add lemon to help out with the flavor. Meanwhile, Tamika's struggling with time, the time management of it all. Tamika serves her delicious looking loaded scallop potatoes. Her second dish is turkey bacon, bacon broccoli, mac and cheese. The judges proclaim that this is slamming and Gina loves the broccoli addition to the mac and cheese, stating that it's nice to add vegetables to your mac and cheese and get it in where you can. Mike's side dish, his two side dishes were breakfast potatoes with green onions, bell peppers, and cheese. He also made candy sweet potato with brown sugar, cinnamon, and nutmeg. The judges declare that he has a perfect texture and a perfect taste. Tahara's side dish included the mustard greens with Swiss chard, um, her twice baked stuffed bacon potato. Gina didn't like the potato dish. Gina nearly didn't like it. She said that there was just too much going on with it. Oh my. Chef Darnell said that Tahara's mustard greens uh, were too bitter still. They needed something like maybe vinegar and some brown sugar. So that's a little tip for those of you who like the mustard greens. 
someone's about to be eliminated. Tahara points out that both Mike's dishes were potatoes. Uh, unfortunately, Tahara was booted out instead of Mike. Final round, round three, desserts, 45 minutes to bake. Mike's making his signature apple cobbler, and he's thinking about making some homemade ice cream to go with it. Tamika's making an eggnog crumbler. Uh, she's using eggnog liqueur. Nobody told me that there was eggnog liqueur because um, I'm going to have to look for that. But um, Mike is making homemade ice cream to go with the cobbler. But unfortunately, the ice cream, he doesn't have enough time and the ice cream hasn't hardened enough. So he decides to substitute with the store-bought ice cream in the, in the pantry. Mike was being a gentleman. He helps Tamika, who's legally blind, take her dishes over to the judges for the final judging. The judges are judging these dishes based on the taste, the presentation, and the Christmas spirit of it all. Tamika's dish is the eggnog cream crumbler. The judges say it's smooth and creamy and velvety fine, but not quite chilled enough for a custard. Meanwhile, Mike's Self-proclaimed Little Mike's Apple Cobbler has the judges and Kim Whitley's lips all smacking. The cobbler is very well received. Both cooks are congratulated on their efforts. And drum roll. The winner is Mike's Family Recipe Apple Cobbler 1, The Big Holiday Food Fight, Episode 2. I appreciate you guys for spending time here with me. See you guys real soon in the next video. Please like, share, and subscribe. And let me know down in the comments section what your favorite holiday dish is and what you'll be cooking this holiday season. Thank you again, and I'll see you real soon.